Umar Muir is making a return, and there seems to be no halt to its momentum. Remember Umar Muir, the celestial object with the peculiar orbit that caused quite a commotion when it was initially spotted in late 2017. All the unsettling evidence suggests that it emerged from the vast expanse between the stars, or what is known as interstellar space. Now, scientists are sounding the alarm about the potential impact of this object on Earth, given its ominous characteristics and trajectory. There are even speculations circulating about it being an alien battlecraft, raising questions about extraterrestrial espionage or the possibility of Umar Muir being an extraterrestrial comet on a collision course with humanity. Join us as we delve into Umar Muir's relentless journey and its impending repercussions. When you hear the term alien probes, what comes to mind? Perhaps it conjures images of abduction stories from the 1960s, where extraterrestrial entities conduct medical examinations on human subjects using sophisticated instruments. Alternatively, you might envision something akin to Umar Muir, a cigar-shaped interstellar visitor that swung around the center of our solar system approximately 15 million miles away from Earth in 2017. The latter category of potential probes is of particular interest to scientists like A.V.I. Lub of Harvard University. With a background in plasma physics, Lubb has explored the ocean floor in search of evidence of extraterrestrial visitation and has postulated that Umar Muir could have been a spacecraft from another world. While Earth scientists have dispatched space probes like Voyager and New Horizons into the cosmos, they lack the capability to send and retrieve probes from interstellar distances. Consequently, astronomers and physicists are diligently working to decipher how extraterrestrial spacecraft might traverse interstellar space to reach Earth and how we could potentially intercept their communications upon arrival. However, there are significant challenges to overcome. The vast distances and time involved present formidable obstacles for any extraterrestrial civilization seeking to send probes to Earth. To illustrate, a probe dispatched from the Andromeda Galaxy, our closest galactic neighbor would face a journey of 2.5 million light-years ahead of it. Despite these challenges, the quest to understand and potentially communicate with extraterrestrial probes remains a captivating frontier for scientific exploration. This would entail an immensely vast and remarkably lengthy journey, considering that one light-year equals 6 trillion miles. If extraterrestrial beings aim to retrieve their probe before the collapse of their civilization, they would need to devise a method to travel at speed surpassing that of light. Is it conceivable that they have mastered the utilization of theoretical concepts like wormholes, warp drive technology, or other undiscovered technologies? By uncovering new principles of physics, they may have unlocked such capabilities. There may be additional hurdles for extraterrestrial civilizations to surmount. Even if they deciphered the constraints of galactic speed during their extensive voyage to Earth, they would need to engineer probes capable of withstanding the rigors of space radiation and debris. Developing innovative materials with heightened durability and toughness would be imperative for this endeavor. In general, a material's toughness, defined as its ability to absorb energy, is crucial. While hard materials like diamonds possess high hardness, they often lack toughness. Ideally, a material with both high fracture toughness and hardness, enabling it to resist deformation and impacts, would be optimal. Indeed, Umar Muir presents a formidable presence. In the autumn of 2017, this minuscule object, named 1i Umar Muir, traversed the inner solar system, approaching close to the sun. Its distinction as the first known object originating from a solar system other than our own bestowed upon it historical significance. Astronomers initially designated it as 1i Umar Muir, with the 1i denoting its status as the inaugural interstellar object discovered within our solar system. However, the name is commonly abbreviated to Umar Muir. Astronomers had long anticipated the arrival of an interstellar object akin to Umar Muir after decades of speculation. Upon Umar Muir's discovery, Thomas Zerbuchen, NASA's associate administrator for science at the time, declared in 2017 that they now possess direct evidence of such interstellar objects' existence. Conversely, a second interstellar object from another solar system, 2i a Borisov, was discovered in August 2019. However, Borisov appeared to exhibit characteristics typical of a comet, complete with a tail and coma. The enigmatic head of Umar Muir, encircling an icy core, made it stand out remarkably compared to other celestial bodies. 
Predictions about the existence of interstellar objects predated Umar Muir's discovery, but it didn't match astronomers' expectations. This peculiarly shaped object lacked the typical features of a comet but exhibited signs of outgassing as it traversed space. The prevailing theories revolve around the sublimation of hydrogen or nitrogen ice from other solar systems. Interstellar objects are propelled into space either by the gravitational pull of gas giants or by colossal collisions that dismantle protoplanets. Being the first known interstellar visitor, Umar Muir offers insights into the composition of planetary systems beyond our own. Its elongated form initially gave it the appearance of a large cylinder, appearing to be ten times longer than it was wide. However, subsequent measurements revealed a pancake-like shape. Similar-shaped objects have been observed in the Kuiper belt beyond Neptune, such as the minor planet Arakoth, visited by NASA's New Horizons probe on New Year's Day 2019. The object's brightness, as observed in its light curve, aided in determining its dimensions and shape. The exact stellar system of Umar Muir's origin remains a mystery. However, in 2018, researchers traced Umar Muir's trajectory back to its original route towards the Sun, discovering that one million years ago, it passed close to four stars, with the red dwarf star HIP 3757 being its closest encounter. It's plausible that Umar Muir originated from there or had been adrift in space for an extended period. Unlike solar system bodies that follow tight orbits around the Sun, Umar Muir's trajectory was hyperbolic, indicating that its high-speed approach to the Sun minimally influenced its path due to gravitational bending. Umar Muir, hurtling towards our star at a relative speed of 16.36% of 23 million miles per hour, remained undiscovered for over a month. On October 19, 2017, University of Hawaii astronomer Rob Werrick stumbled upon Umar Muir in observations conducted by the Asteroid Tracking Panoramic Survey Telescope and Rapid Response System, PANSTARS. At that moment, Umar Muir was positioned 21 million miles away from Earth, eventually approaching as close as 15 million miles. This extraterrestrial visitor has been steadily departing from our solar system, aided by a gravity boost from the sun that propelled it to a velocity of 54.2 km per second. The observation window for Umar Muir was brief, lasting only a few weeks due to its diminutive size and swift departure from Earth. Among the instruments tracking it, the Hubble Space Telescope had the longest observational capability. By amalgamating data from the Very Large Telescope in Chile and the Gemini South Telescope, it managed to capture detailed images of Umar Muir, portraying it as a minuscule speck against the backdrop of space. Now journeying beyond Neptune's orbit, Umar Muir is heading towards the constellation Pegasus, beyond the detection range of our telescopes as it zips through the Kuiper belt. The possibility of its return towards Earth remains speculative, prompting questions about its nature, including the intriguing notion of it being an alien probe. Umar Muir's identity remains a subject of speculation. Prior to its discovery, astronomers anticipated interstellar objects like 2I R Borisov to resemble comets. Initially, Umar Muir was thought to be a dormant comet whose volatile substances, such as water, had evaporated over billions of years, either within its original system or during close encounters with other stars. However, its lack of cometary tail raised doubts. Unlike comets that emit water vapor and dust, Umar Muir showed no signs of releasing such substances. Thus, Umar Muir's nature is open to interpretation. The prevailing theories suggest it could be a lump of nitrogen ice or another unknown entity. As per a theory proposed by Arizona State University's Alan Jackson and Steve Desch, Umar Muir could potentially be a fragment of nitrogen ice expelled from a Pluto-like celestial body due to a significant impact event. Jackson and Desch formulated this hypothesis following observations made by the New Horizon spacecraft in 2015, which identified regions like Sputnik Planum, essentially frozen nitrogen lakes. If Umar Muir experienced nitrogen outgassing due to solar heating, it would have gained an additional reflective quality, indicated by an albedo of 0.64. To appear as faint as observed, Umar Muir would need to be smaller than initially estimated. According to calculations by Jackson and Desch, its dimensions would be approximately 148 by 144 by 25 feet if it were composed of nitrogen ice. 
Alternatively, cosmic rays might have interacted with surface ice during Umam Muir's interstellar journey, releasing hydrogen from certain water molecules and creating a reservoir of hydrogen gas trapped within amorphous water ice. This theory, proposed by Cornell University's Darrell Seligman and Berkeley University's Jennifer Bugner, suggests that while Umam Muir passed by the sun, it was warmed enough to allow hydrogen to escape, altering the ice's crystal structure and providing the apparent propulsion. This could explain the absence of a dust tail, as any dust would have remained ensnared in the water ice. Harvard University's A.V.I. Lub and Shmuel Bialy proposed a rather unconventional theory, suggesting that Umar Muir might be a solar-powered spacecraft. They argue that the various peculiarities observed in the extraterrestrial object could be elucidated by an artificial origin. The trajectory Umar Muir followed implies a non-local origin. However, due to the lack of detailed photographic evidence, astronomers must rely on brightness observations and their understanding of the reflective properties of asteroids and comets to estimate its size. The absence of a coma or tail surrounding Umar Muir, combined with other factors, leads researchers like Leb and Bialy to dismiss the comet hypothesis as unlikely. Additionally, any outgassing would have potentially altered Umar Muir's rotational period. An effect that would have been easily detectable, Lb said, but such a change has not been observed. He also raised another potential natural explanation, the apparent motion could be attributed to the impulse that caused Umar Muir to break free from its parent object. However, if this were the case, Lb noted, Umar Muir has exhibited recurrent non-gravitational acceleration, indicating that this impulse wouldn't be permanent. Consequently, Lebanbiali proposed a groundbreaking theory, sunlight might be responsible. The latest analysis indicates that if Umar Muir is extremely thin, between 0.3 to 0.9 mm thick, the observed non-gravitational motion could be induced by solar radiation pressure. How could a structure be so delicately thin? One possibility suggested by Lebanbiali is a light sail, utilizing the kinetic energy of photons for propulsion. This technology has already been demonstrated in orbit. The Japanese Icaros probe reached the vicinity of Venus in 2010, NASA's nanosail the D2 orbited Earth in 2011, and the light sail craft from the Planetary Society accomplished a similar feat in 2015, primarily to test sail deployment. A light sail Umar Muir could potentially endure a prolonged interstellar voyage, according to Lerb and Bialy's calculations. These calculations considered the rates at which the object would encounter deep space fluxes and the density of gas and dust in the interstellar medium. They estimated that Umar Muir could potentially travel at least 16,000 light-years from its home system, the identity of which remains elusive. It's worth noting that Lerb and Bialy do not definitively claim in this analysis that Umar Muir is unquestionably an extraterrestrial spacecraft. However, they regard this possibility with significant interest. Perhaps it's an alien spacecraft that inadvertently landed on Earth, or it could be a fragment of space debris. Alternatively, according to the study, it might be an active spacecraft sent to explore our solar system. Le pointed out arguments in favor of the latter theory, suggesting that Umar Muir's very discovery was somewhat anomalous. If the visitor belongs to a random population, stumbling upon it as we did implies that every star in the Milky Way ejects approximately 1,000 trillion such objects over its lifespan. These estimates are based on calculations conducted by Lib and his collaborators. A decade ago, our solar system didn't witness the presence of many objects akin to Umar Muir. Moreover, the kinematic space known as the local standard of rest, encompassing our segment of the Milky Way galaxy, closely aligns with Umar Muir's trajectory. This alignment contributes to the ongoing mystery surrounding its origin. Conventional chemical rockets cannot catch up with Umar Muir as it journeys towards the outer solar system. Nevertheless, there's a slim possibility that we might closely observe the object. Initiatives such as Breakthrough Starshot aim to launch small robotic probes equipped with sails, hurtling them toward Umar Muir at unprecedented speeds, potentially facilitating future exploration. Whether or not we intercept Umar Muir, its visit offers valuable lessons to prepare for future encounters with similar objects. By conducting comprehensive observational campaigns, astronomers can glean insights and bolster readiness for future celestial events. Umar Muir's example should inspire astronomers to scrutinize other intriguing objects currently within our view. 
In the event of Umar Mua's return, should we contemplate constructing a Karelian shipyard? While such speculation ventures into the realm of the extraordinary, it prompts consideration of our response to a recurring asteroid space probe. To pursue the probe, humanity must deepen its understanding of dark energy and its manipulation in the cosmos. Crafting a vessel capable of intercepting Umar Mua poses a formidable challenge, given its remarkable velocity. Solar sails, wormholes, and warp bubbles are among the theoretical propulsion methods, each laden with its own set of complexities and uncertainties. Establishing a launch pad in the asteroid belt's periphery, as suggested by Freeman Dyson, or harnessing an ALO drive, akin to riding a moving conveyor belt through an airport, are potential approaches. However, Constructing a warp engine capable of propelling a spaceship requires overcoming immense technical hurdles, including the generation of negative mass on a scale equivalent to Jupiter's mass. The means by which humans may tap into this untapped potential remain shrouded in mystery. Thank you for watching another episode of Worldview Theory. Don't forget to explore more mind-blowing videos about space by clicking on the screen.